Excelsior, everybody, and welcome to Purple Thunder Wolf. Once again, we have returned with another computer title. My name is James Wolf. Today we are playing Worms WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction. Uh, this is a new game that I've just found. Apparently there is a sequel to uh, Worms World Party. I didn't know there was another one after that. I've never played this game before. This is a brand new first look I have never been in. I have been in this about a minute now just to create a team really quickly and as you can see here I've set up a game we're gonna go up against the computer we're not gonna are we gonna do the hardest I think we're gonna do the hardest we're gonna try the hardest one we're gonna go up against bad intentions with team purple thunder wolf uh, it's a brand new game a whole bunch of new weapons and so forth so we're gonna jump straight in and see what happens I apologize for the windowed mode it would not let me see my mouse otherwise Every time I full screened it, it would disappear my mouse icon, which made it rather difficult to play, so... You're gonna have to run this one in windowed mode. Oh, the graphics are good. Okay, so they start off first. Oh, I can zoom in now. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's handy. As you can see, my team has little uh, bandanas on. You can now customize your worms with their look. And uh, all kinds of other things. The classic shotgun. Nope, sheep. Jetpack. Oh, oh wow, the graphics on this are incredibly much better. Incredibly much better? I'm not sure that's a word. Oh. And uh, snack pack is flailing, but not in the water. Wow. Graphics are amazing, so... Okay, I've moved it now, I don't know where my person is. James Wolf, there we go. Uh, I think they've changed the controls on me a little. Now up there you can see there's some sort of a, a weapon carrier. Apparently there are vehicles in this now. They never used to be. Okay, easy, fire punch, dynamite, blow torch, ninja rope. So a lot of the classics. Apparently you can also craft weapons now. Apparently that's also a thing. We shall try with the bazooka. Oh, good shot. Yes, you can apparently craft your own weapons out of crazy bits and pieces and also climb into the vehicles. I'm um, sure I have no idea how you do either of these things. We shall have to try and figure that out as we go. Now, who, who are they looking at here? There's, no, there's nobody there. Is there? Is there, oh, there's a worm in the building. How are they in the building? Apparently you can climb inside the building somehow. Oh. What is going on? That is crazy. Okay. Okay, so there's a building over here. Can we go into the building? No. Uh, can I do my double backflip? Yes, yes I can. Looks like up here. Can I go up here? No. Okay. Hmm. What are all these down here? I don't know what those are. Crafting! Bazooka. Bazooka pie. Bazooka pie. Where, where's my bazooka pie? No? Okay. I have no idea what's going on currently. We shall, we shall try and... Nope, nope, way too... Oh, oh, hey, we managed to get someone on the other building. Someone with some very funny bad looking hair. So I assume once you go in one of the holes into the buildings, you go inside the buildings separately to the outside. That's... Really cool. The buildings still provide shelter, but you can climb inside of them instead of having to go around all the obstacles. It's they really include a lot of new stuff in this. I believe from the intro of the game it said 25 years for Team 17, so I assume this is some sort of anniversary version they've done. I'm not quite sure when this actually came out. 
Oh, 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 we got one in the water. Oh, in the water, it looks amazing as well. Worm traditionally, the first ones that came out were very pixelated. But even some of the more recent versions, they stuck with a very basic cartoon style. And, uh... They've changed it for this one. I thought I might hate it, but they've changed it, but I kind of like it. It's kind of... The graphics in Ito are really cool, so E for enter the mech. And now I'm in a mech! Oh, that's amazing. How do I... Okay, slam things. I see. Can I double backflip in the mech? No, nope, or is that my turn? I think that's my turn. Oh, I see. There you go. That's the front of the building there. Okay. Right, so it is it is the front of the building. <coughs> Excuse me, you can go inside the buildings. This is crazy. I wonder, does the mech give me extra health, I wonder? What do I have to do to get a thing out here? Pick up another crate. Well, so far the graphics are definitely impressing me, the look is impressing me. Just even the effects of the weapons, the way everything looks, is amazing. And it still seems to maintain that the wacky worms mayhem that the other games all had. I'm very intrigued about these uh, uh, these mechs and these built these um, machines, though. So if I can blow a hole in the wall, I can get two. Okay, right. So now I'm on D money. And I think we might drop the dynamite. Classic explosive dynamite. Oh, that does a lot more damage than it used to. The explosion radius is way bigger. I did choose 200 health each for the worms for this game, just to give ourselves a little bit more of a chance of surviving for five minutes until I figure out what's going on. Did want to die before I'd actually worked out all the weapons. Now that looks like some sort of weapon on the roof as well, some sort of mounted. Is that a flamethrower? It looks kind of like a flamethrower. I do not know. We can actually zoom out, of course. I am zoomed in quite closely. <coughs> Excuse me. He's going with the jetpack. What's he going to do from there? Going to use the grenade? Oh, come on! That was a fluke. Well, the mech seems to be slightly damaged, so I assume it does. I don't think Adnan lost any health then, though. We shall pick up a crate. We picked up a jetpack. We shall use... Jetpack? Where's the jetpack? Teleport. Where's my jetpack? We'll use a homing missile. We'll use a homing missile on this one on the roof. I'll take you on. If it works like it used to. Beautiful. Hooray! Blow up in his face. Perfect. So we're up to fry now. Even the background, just the, the pictures, the um, style of their levels that they've designed. They're also a lot bigger. The levels look a lot bigger. There's a lot more detail. They're a lot further off the ground from the waterline. Music's a little bit different though. I'm kind of missing the traditional worms theme kind of music. Overall though, this game is looking really, really good. It seems to work pretty well too, except for the exception of the uh, non-windowed mode mouse issues I had. That might just be my problem though. You did. You hear me? So I assume that tank can then be climbed in. <coughs> Excuse me. I assume that tank can then be climbed into at some point too. 
Okay, snack pack. Now, where, what happened to that jetpack? We have a jetpack, I know this. I saw it earlier. Jetpack. Nope. Oh, right, I'm using the wrong one. Okay. Oh, you get a lot more with the jetpack than you used to, I gotta say. And we shall get into the tank. And we shall... Okay. Oh, wow. Obviously, I don't want to drive it too far off the edge there, but, uh... Yep, that's the end of my turn. Wow, that tank does a relatively good amount of damage. It's like having a bunch of uh, dynamite or mines. If I can line that up with somebody, I'm going to absolutely wreck their day. I do like this this inside the house silhouette kind of idea. It's where you can hide and you can still blow the walls up, but they can actually theoretically just hide in the house. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the airstrike? <laughs> Well, that's a lot more than it used to. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have a frog in my throat today. Okay. Bunker Buster. Fair strike. Let's go with this bazooka pie. I finally found where the bazooka pie is. Watch this one. Well, he's in the water. I'm not quite sure what the bazooka pie was versus the normal bazooka, but it did the, uh... Oh, we got action replay! Oh, beautiful! Action replay on a beautiful play. That's fantastic. I love that. Just to rub it in a little bit more that I absolutely sunk him. Well, I've got to say, considering the team is the highest rank of computer AI, the AI is not doing phenomenally well for someone who hasn't played this particular version. Mind you, they're not doing terribly. I have seen some of the AIs in Worms games, if they're too low, they do play terribly bad and blow themselves up quite a lot. Oh, I think that might be the end of the mech. Hydra Hargus. Oh, good lord. I'll get you. Stop laughing, you. So I'm guessing when the we the the uh, vehicles are destroyed, you kind of take some damage while you're inside it. Hmm. I may have to look that one up. Because I'm not sure if something was detonated on me or what was kind of going on there. Now, I wonder if I have anti-gravity. Do I have... No, I don't have anti-gravity. I would like to get one of my old favourites out, however. I don't know... Ah, yeah, we'll use this one anyway. Oh, not as far as I would have liked, but still. Baseball bat to the face. Always fun. My favourite Worms move undoubtedly is still throwing the anti-gravity and just baseball bat them off the map into the distance. And you hear a splash off the screen. I would like to see the full range of weapons too. Obviously this is only like roughly the intermediate set of weaponry. Oh, which I can actually look at while I'm not even having my turn. Well, can I craft stuff when it's not my turn? Flaming bat, alloy bat. Oh I can oh I can do all sorts of dynamites and mines and sheep. Electric sheep. I'm missing tears of a worm, apparently. You can craft all kinds of things, that's awesome. Banana, holy hand grenade, holy mine grenade. I don't seem to be able to craft much at the moment though. I don't know how I obtain these different parts is my question. Banana bomb. Oh, I need to go to weapons. I do have a banana bomb in my weapons arsenal. If I can... Oh, I see, I don't have to get on top of the mech, that's not actually there anymore. Let's see if I can get the banana bomb to work properly. I don't remember the right like controls. With more. Boom. 
Can I not detonate anymore? Oh no, it does it itself. Wow, that did a lot of damage. They really ramped up the explosive power of some of these. Damage is actually about the same, but the um, explosive rate is quite quite bigger. Now I thought I could detonate that, but I couldn't, which is why it went so far. Wow. <laughs> Not as much damage as I would have liked, but nevertheless, the level is fairly well destroyed. Now we've got 10 minutes left on our sudden death timer, which will be interesting to see how that works, but hopefully we won't get that far. I have to say, when I picked the computer AI teams, I didn't see any of the traditional teams, the Team 17, um, Royalty, is it Nasty or Venom or something? Oh, oh baseball bat to the face. And then gets in the tank. Oh, I see how it is. You think you're going to defend yourself that way, do you, pal? That's right, I'm hiding in the house now. Okay. Do I have my Comet Punch? What do I have? I have the Uzi and I have the shotgun. I think we might have to give you the old shotgun. I'm sort of stuck in a hole. Well, I wouldn't want to a lot of damage on that one still. Was that uh, Bob Ross? That sounded like a Bob Ross quote. Cerulean Blue is paint, of course. Like the other Worms games, you can choose your uh, the voice of your character. I have a feeling they picked up Bob Ross. For those who don't know who Bob Ross is, he was a uh, TV painter who taught people how to paint on, like, on the, the television. But he always had a very calming, soothing kind of voice, apparently. And then the computer blows itself up! Helps me out greatly. Thank you very much. I think that is who they're supposed to be. That's kind of funny. That option was never there before. Alright, we are going... Oh, there was a fire punch. I did have it. These new icons are confusing me at no end. We're going to holy hand grenade. One of my favorites. There's a massive amount of overkill because this guy's only got 43 health. But I can't help it. I love the holy hand grenade. Blows all holy and then blows a holy in him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting now I'm listening to it. We have the, the voice of Bob Ross, calm and collected, versus angry Scottish voices. Uh, for, this is the one I picked for my team. I thought he was about to jump off the edge there. I forgot about the parachute. It is a little crafty than I gave him credit for. Slightly ahead on health at the moment. Oh, is he getting a sheep? The classic sheep. Oh, he's about to return the favor. Oh no. Bye, dear money. Thanks for playing. Well, the Holy Hand Grenade claims two in a row. Ready for action. Now, I don't actually appear to be anywhere of use. So what's this Bunker Buster? I'd love to know what the Bunker Buster actually does. Let's drop it on this, this one here. Oh, it's straight down. Oh, wow. You should use a Is that going to blow up the machine? No. Okay, so the Bunker Buster is a new one that I haven't seen before. The old one used to have the airstrike, uh, which was a series of bombs at an angle, and the napalm. That Bunker Buster just drops a one straight down on top of something from above. 
kind of handy. I think that'll be handy for the future use. Have I collected stuff? Have I collected anything? I don't understand how I'm supposed to collect these things. Oh, for it takes one on the head. Oh, that one had a uh, fire and flame that goes with it. What was that they used? Okay, well, what have we got? Homing missile, airstrike. I think we might just stand back on Bazooka. Uh, no, we won't. I can see the Bazooka going horribly wrong in this house. We shall... We'll try the cluster bomb. Oh, didn't quite get away quick enough then. Still did a bunch of damage. There we go, destroyed his tank. Now you're in the open, mate. Steal my tank. Just float down from the I feel like two or three of my worms are about to cop it in the face. All sitting in a row there, that's probably not the smartest move. Yep, big grenade in the face. <laughs> I do love the giant mouse scream they seem to do now. You're dead. You hear me? You're dead. I'll get ya. The more we do this, the more it will do good things to our heart. Safe teleport? Oh, you dead. I'm having a look at stuff. What do you think I'm doing, mate? Airstrike. Homing missile. Nope, I think just a simple bazooka on this one. I'll take you on. Send him back upstairs, a snack pack to finish off. Well, I wouldn't want to much about that. Okay, so let's start by loading up a one inch brush with cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. Hopefully you can actually hear the uh, worms on the background of this, otherwise I'm just saying randomly weird things. Well, I think so far this game is almost better than the, the uh, last one, better than Worms World Party, which was a big favourite of mine for a very long time. Because I haven't seen the other weapons yet and I haven't tried any of the campaigns or the missions or any of that sort of stuff yet. But even just this quick game against the AI has been... Uh, you're fairly good. Bunker Buster. You're gonna use it on me now. Straight down into the middle of all my worms, of course. Stop laughing, you. Anybody dead? Can you not leave me be? No. Nope. Nobody died, thank you. Oh, goodness. But I definitely I definitely have to give this game a good good rating. It's uh it works well. It's a pretty simple too, like Sometimes you get new games or new versions of games that you've played a million times before and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing or how, or what you're, what you're supposed to go, you don't know the new buttons, you don't know the new setup. I played games that I played for half my life and I still had no idea what I was doing. This on the other hand, this on the other hand made it quite simple. I'm not going to get away, am I? No. Fuck that up completely. But yeah, for someone to jump into who's already knows the game, you don't have to learn a whole bunch of new controls, really. They have swapped from the directionals to the WASD pad, but you can change that yourself if you want. But sometimes you get into these games and the whole control system's changed, all the menu buttons have changed, they've reassigned how you fire and how you do all this. this they've pretty much kept the same layout. So it's just as easy. Oh, is this the new fire punch? Oh, an actual fire punch. That's cool. All they've really done is up the graphics, add some extra flares and effects, and put in a whole bunch of new weapons and kind of systems, including the house and the, the vehicles. 
basically a good, it's basically an already good Worms game plus more stuff, which you know you can't really complain about. I think we will also use the flame punch. There you go, bomber. Take some of that. Must be nearly the end of you. Finish him. There we go. Bit of damage to that man there. Shouldn't be more than like 10 or so. No, 25! Apparently sitting in the path of someone dying is a lot more expensive than it used to be. Gotta remember that one. Let's have some fun. So, one, two left on their team. There's one in the building. I'm definitely winning on numbers. <laughs> they, the screaming right before they get blown up is so funny. Oh no, they're dead. No, both are dead. <laughs> he swallows a grenade to kill himself. Oh dear. The worm's wackiness still makes me laugh to this day. And poor Wolfric is just sitting here on his lonesome. Let's teleport him out of here. We need him elsewhere. Let's let's drop him on a crate and get something going on here. See what we get. First of all, thank you for allowing me into your home. Collected Boggy Special Sauce. And Donkey Paste. Oh, these will be my uh, crafting materials. So which boxes well though there's a little those ones there, are they Okay, so there's normal weapons and then there's crafting material boxes. I see now. And that's where I get all the... I wonder if I keep them from game to game, too. Oh. Oh, Azuka, no. Did I get anything to increase something I already have? Doesn't look like it. But I wonder if I keep these, these things. Oh, I see. I have different kind of elements down the bottom here. I'm obviously collecting different parts of those. So you can look at your weapons when it's not your turn, but only until they fire. You never used to be able to look at your weapons until it was your go. I do like that. That's a nice feature because I can sit and ponder what I'm going to do next turn. Up next is Snack Pack. We're only three minutes till sudden death. Is that the jet pack? Jet pack definitely has a lot more gas in it than it used to be. It never used to, used to be about 10 to 15 seconds. Used to barely give you, you would never have got up there that far with the old jet pack. It was. Either 10 or 15 seconds, no, 20 seconds, 20 seconds worth of jet fuel. This one seems to have considerably more. It also doesn't seem to use it up quite so easily. Especially with the, with the old jet pack, you would kind of float on the screen a lot, so you'd kind of try to turn. OMG strike, what? 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 Oh my glory! What? Oh, what was that? OMG indeed! Holy crud! They just like carved up half the level! Good grief! Well... OMG strike, I see. What do I need to make that? Good lord almighty. That was, uh... That was quite a thing. Wow. That was hugely destructive. What? Shotgun? Oh, I picked the wrong weapon. Fine. 
Oh, the amount of damage that's just carved through the level. It just blasted through. It destroyed the buildings. It knocked all the worms off. Wow. He obviously picked that up out of a crate or managed to craft that somehow, because I did not have one of those to start with. I have a feeling there's going to be some fantastically good super weapons in this game somewhere. Some of the old ones, some of the classics like the Concrete Donkey and uh, the Sheep Strike were really, really good, really powerful, but based on that alone, there's obviously going to be some really crazy stuff in this game. I'm very much looking forward to finding out what they have. I think I'll definitely play a bit more of this, and uh, when I find out how everything works, I can show you guys some of the wackier stuff and have a few crazy games. Because I was going to play more versions of the other Worms game, however, this one seems to be providing some extremely fun challenges. I think we're going to airstrike Clunk here because he's got a lot of health. Where am I? Got him. That brings him a bit closer because he's pretty powerful still. We will definitely, even if we don't play the other Worms game, we might play some more of this one and see how we go with this one. I don't want to inundate the channel with just gaming videos, but for those people who watch, I know a lot of people watch the Snack Pack videos, and not so much watch the gaming videos, but the gaming videos are a lot easier to film. I can film them sitting at home here when I get a spare half an hour or so, whereas with the Snack Pack I have to find times to meet up with the others and obviously order and obtain the items I need. Oh, what was that? Some sort of, uh, was that the, something something with the poison gas, which means he'll be losing health every turn now. But the snack packs are a little bit more difficult to start filming. So, the gaming videos are kind of something I can put on when I know I don't have the ability to make any more of the other videos for a little while. Hmm. Homing oh, Missile. Let's try and see if we can get Frida. We're pretty far down. Fire! Wow, that goes a lot higher than the used too. Oh, so close. One hit, one damage. Oh. Yeah, so, um, if anybody, if you're watching these videos, let me know if you prefer me to play the other Worms game, or if you'd like to see a little bit more of this newer Worms game with the wacky stuff. The other, the other game has some crazy things we can do too, or not. If you want to see a bit more Hearthstone, maybe. I haven't done much Hearthstone. I'm finding it difficult to film the Hearthstone and talk and not completely ruin my game. The difference being is I have some skill in the Worms game, I don't have very much skill in Hearthstone. Oh, that's rubbish. It's easier when you can computer calculate the angles, isn't it, pal? Oh, and all those crates are gone now, too. Wow, that blew that tombstone all the way up to that top level. Some of these explosions are so much more effective. Oh, we hit sudden death. Oh, crap. Oh, what's going on? Is the water level rising? I don't know. Oh, what's, what's sudden death? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Alright, I'm in the house. Excellent. Is that mine not close enough to get him? Oh, come on, it's right underneath him. Oh, there we go, the water level did rise. and sudden death, the water level starts rising bit by bit. So, uh, I just lost one of my worms. In fact, one, two, three, four. It's four to two. I've only got snack pack and please subscribe left. So that's not so good. for the higher ground, not terribly surprising. We've got a while before the water gets up this high, I think. Oh no, it rises quite a bit. And please subscribe is very nearly dead anyway. 
there a health crate I can teleport to? There is, but it's not very high. And we've only got the one. I think we're going to have to, because we're going to need more than one worm to win this game. That heals him. Yep, good. He's a little bit exposed, though. Oh, no, there's a little bit of defense. Now, hopefully Snack Pack doesn't get destroyed instantaneously. Oh, it's not looking good. I hope you land on the mine that I set up. Please trigger my mine. No. Come on, what are you gonna do? Miss. Whatever it is. Yes! Oh! Jetpack. Oh. Now what? You can't bazooka me from here, you'll kill us both. Fire punch. Oh, and into the house though, right on top of a uh, useful crate. How far away is subscribe? He might survive his next go. Right, now can we build anything quickly? What have we got? Oh, uh, electric sheep. Let's have an electric sheep. How long is this going to take? I need this sheep now. Oh, bollocks. Well, apparently... Oh, the sheep actually runs and doesn't really bounce now. Oh, that was way more explosive than I thought it was going to be. Oh dear, there goes my worm. So now it's his go. How much water is going to lose? And then there should be a water rise after his go. Will subscribe. <laughs> Will please subscribe. Please survive. Or is he going to be just too far down? I can't believe I... W what happens to that sheep I tried to craft? Does that come back or... Do I get that again? What? What's just taking time? If I need a weapon desperately, I need a weapon. Well, he's attacked in nothing. Are we going to survive? Oh, yes! By the barest, barest of margins. Where's me rope? Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm not very good with the rope. Oh, am I gonna fall? Oh no, no, no! Oh crap. Oh, I have no idea where to go now. Okay, okay. Oh, I think we're absolutely done here. So we shall simply fire the bazooka and hope for the best. And that's us done, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure he's drowned next turn. That's disappointing. It would be better if I actually knew how to use the rope effectively. And he doesn't need to do anything, he just needs to wait. Stop messing around and end the game, come on. Just take your shot, come on. He did not fire through that, that's a load of nonsense. Well, either way we lose. Team Bad Intentions defeats us. There we go. Even gives us our kills and death ratio. That's pretty cool. Top Worm Award. Top Worm Award. Nope. 
Oh, okay, I clicked on it, I got out of it. Well, anyway, that is Worms WMD. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We will definitely probably play a little bit more of this one. I am quite quite enjoyed that. Hopefully they get a little bit better. We'll have a look at some of the other weapons. Remember to please subscribe and watch the other videos. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. My name is James Wolf. I'll see you next time.